Yo guys and welcome back to some more of a Dark Spore. Now first of all, I apologise if I sound a bit off, I am still sick, it sucks, and it's been going on for too long now. And I do apologise for the lack of any Dark Spore updates, but if I am honest, as someone who's just wanting to play the game, and I know a lot of you guys have wanted to play as well, there has not really been many updates to give. Now, the team are still working on it, they've been making a lot of amazing breakthroughs. They're still kind of playing around with the uh, back end of the game, the server, etc. Trying to, you know, figure out what fits into where and how certain things work and are kind of rebuilding as they go along but like I said for, from player to player people who just want to play the game right now the game is not playable yet as I can demonstrate here when you go into navigation and try to load into any campaign or PvP it kind of just gets stuck in a bit of a loading screen and nothing will actually load I mean it doesn't crash which is nice <laughs> But it has no information to take from the server, therefore, you know, that there is no map to load. But saying that, Rob has been learning how it generates the maps and how, you know, how exactly the game actually loads them in, which is a very interesting, kind of strange. But that's, you know, a lot more technical stuff. In terms of what we can do, however, so one of the major things that they have done since the last update, which I really, really like, is they've made the whole process of logging in now local. In other words, once you first get your Dark Sport files and the recap server information and files, you can then play Dark Sport offline. You do need to register an account, but the entire account registration thing is once again locally done. So my one is just 123 at test.com. It doesn't have to be anything real at all. It's just something to trick the game into thinking that you've logged in that way you access. Like I said, it's all local, so it's all nice and safe offline and purely to your PC. Which is really handy and convenient, and for someone like me, a bit of an assurance that it is safe. Now aside from that, the editors are working quite nicely, and you are given your entire 100 heroes unlocked. It says 99 activated, just activate your last one, and there you go, bang, all 100. I don't know about you guys, but I've never got to unlock the full 100 before, so this is actually quite cool for me. And it allows you to edit every single one of them. Which, I know he's not playing the game, but it's still really cool though to get to actually experience the Dark Sport editor for the first time. Because as you can see, the graphics do look a lot more exciting than the original Spore does. I love Spore, don't get me wrong, but this looks better, doesn't it? It really, really does. Now, for those of you who have actually not played Dark Sport before, I should let you know that the Dark Sport editor, one of its probably downfalls was the fact that it was extremely limited and I'm talking like even more limited than Vanilla Spore because the thing about Dark Spore editors is that you are given all these different heroes now you can customize them give them different weapons you can give them different hands and different feet but that's about it otherwise I mean, you can you can scroll them sometimes sometimes you can change the angle all the time but unfortunately you can't actually change you know the body the face etc so you're kind of working with a template and adjusting the template to make it you know customizable to what you want imagine playing any game of mmo given a human template and you're only gonna have a human it's basically like that you get to change the characteristics and designs of your champion or your hero but it will only still be that hero that being said though, limitation does breed creativity and we have seen some really, really cool things and you know I'm going to be doing a lot more things. I've been given the go ahead to actually make videos in Dark Swore so you know I'm going to be making whatever I can in terms of creations. In fact, just to give you like a bit of an example, let's go ahead and find a bit of a silly thing I was doing last night. Here is my very, very shameless Jowy Blitz. Look, I just had to, okay? <laughs> <laughs> this is a bit of an idea of given it is limited you can still personalize it this is how my one currently looks but if you if i reset it this is how it normally looks so as you can see you can really customize it but it is very very limited it's also not finished now it's another thing to bear in mind the team are really really kind to give us a assortment of parts that we can actually use to decorate our creatures with we don't have all of it and especially the detail function does not work for anyone who didn't know about the detail function, essentially what it meant was that when you're in the game, you're in the campaign, you get loot, you get all these awesome different affixes and stats and such, you could cleanse the parts off their stats, convert them into details, and then just use them purely for aesthetics. And that would be in these six slots here. But like I said, the function doesn't currently work from what Rob explains. You can convert into a detail within the game, 
But when it tries to send that information to the server, the server just kind of doesn't do anything with it. So when you load into the editor after having converted a part, but the server didn't do anything about it, so it returns the old information and it reverts the change. In other words, still a work in progress. Like I said, it's all to do with the recap server and the way that you know, that and the game is to communicate and transfer information. It's not fully rebuilt, but hey, they are making great progress and I am really, really happy. But like I said, the game isn't playable, which is why I've not really reported on it because there isn't really much to report yet. But we can make creations, which I am going to be doing. Now that being said and done, I need to stress that they are working hard on it. Just because I don't have anything to report, it doesn't mean they don't either. They are far more tech savvy than I am. I'm sure they can give you a mountain of information on what they discovered, what they figured out. Just because I can't translate it, it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. So please give them all the credit in the world for doing this amazing, amazing job. Like, honestly, to the team, thank you so much for doing this. I know it's going to make a lot of people, myself included, very, very happy. Now, as I mentioned earlier, they are exploring the code. They're kind of like having a bit of a pick around, figuring out what connects to what and how things work. And I wouldn't be surprised if just having more people that know coding on board would help speed up the process. Now, if you want to try and help the team in regards to Dark Spore, they do have a I want to help channel in their Discord server, which, by the way, same as before, the Discord server, the GitHub link, and just all the information will be provided in the video description. If you'd like to help out, it says here that the what, things that they do need help with is getting drop and damage data, help with the main launcher, and in particular, help filing the open SSL and Racknet address lists, which requires C++ programming knowledge in a more basic degree. So if you have any experience with that kind of stuff, I'm sure it could be a big contribution. And as I say, the more people working on something, the faster progress can be made. Besides, from what I've seen, the people in there are really, really nice. So I'm sure they would appreciate, you know, more potential helping hands. Or if not, just support. So just moral support to say that, mate, yes, do this, we really care about this, we really want it back. And overall, just have a good, good time. So there you go, ladies and gents, there is a bit of an update. Like I said, I know not really much to say, but a lot of you have been wanting one and I did not want to leave you out in the dark, especially because I will be making some Dark Spore videos. I figured it would just be the polite thing to do to tell you what's going on before I dive straight into those videos. So guys, thank you very, very much. As always, if you've got any questions, please feel free. Although the Dark Spore team might be able to answer them better than I can, but still feel free. And as always, I'll catch you all next time. Have a wonderful day and cheers.